DA leader John Stienhaisen was presenting his party's approach to the government of national unity, the reasons it joined the GNU and its policy priorities. He says, despite being part of the GNU, the DA is against the signing of the Bella Bill into law, as well as the national health insurance. Stienhaisen says the Bella Bill compromises the rights of children to mother tongue education. What I have said we would do is look very carefully at going to court to challenge the aspects of the bill that we believe are wrong. And we are principled and committed to doing so if that is the course of action that the president chooses to follow. Um, we've made our views very clear. I know there are other political parties in the GNU that have made their point of view very, very clear. They're equally concerned about this particular situation. He says their priorities in the five years of GNU is to grow the economy and create jobs, even if that will cause distress inside the GNU. He's highlighted the billions of rands spent bailing out state-owned entities and revenue shortfalls that will impact the employment of teachers, among other things. Not every single dispute within the GNU needs to be met with headlines, GNU on the brink of failing, or GNU, uh, 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 will it last? There will be conflict. There will be differences of policy. There are 10 different parties with very different philosophies within the GNU. And expecting them to agree on absolutely everything all of the time is an unrealistic expectation. So we mustn't catastrophize conflicts that may occur within the GNU. In his conclusion, Stian Hasen says in the GNU, they first seek common ground, then engage in constructive conflict towards finding a compromise, and will finally walk away if there is lasting damage done to the economy or the constitution. Lula Mamaja, SAPC News, Cape Town.